These dough activity and tinker tray kits are all the rage right now all over Instagram and even Etsy. But I am showing you some ways that you can make your own using all items from the dollar store. Yes, from the dollar store. Hey, hey, you guys, it's Christina from the Purple Alphabet. We are doing another tinker tray, tinker box, dough kit, activity box whatever it is you wanna call it, we are making it. I'm giving you some ideas and inspirations to use things from the dollar store. We're heading over to Dollar Tree, finding some cool things to put inside this box. This one's a little bit on the Easter theme, but the materials in it, you could probably use some of them year round. Can't wait to get started, let's go. If you've been watching my Tinker Box, Tinker Tray videos recently, then you definitely know these boxes are my favorite. I've been talking about them in every single video. They're actually in the hardware section of the Dollar Tree, and I like them because they're completely flat. You could stack them and you can fit so much inside of them. So highly recommend these. You do not need this particular one. If you can't find it, there's some other options at Dollar Tree. And then I also have an option from Amazon that's linked down below too. So I just like the size. You don't need this. You could use a tray. It's just, you know, I say play around with it. Use what you have, you know, but if you want the box, I got it at Dollar Tree. So we got it emptied out here from my last activity kit and I got so much, so many options, so many options. If you saw my haul, you saw that I ended up with the Peeps Marshmallow Scented Easter Grass. It does smell like marshmallow. It smells super, super sweet. So I thought this might be a fun addition to an Easter spring themed tinker box because it looks like grass and it kind of smells good. So it has that little sensory component. This stuff will get everywhere. I'm not going to lie to you. So it's not like one of those things that is anti-messy. <laughs> It's messy. These strands are very, very long. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna twist it up here and place it into my box. I'm not putting a whole bunch because I don't want too much because too much could be a bad thing. So I'm just kind of roll it up here. I'm gonna place it into one of the sections of my box. It does, this smells like peeps, you guys. <laughs> it smells exactly like peeps. The purpose of a tinker box is to inspire play, inspire a child to take the materials and to work with them and do things with them on their own. It is child-led versus adult-led. So you're not exactly telling them how to use the products. You are supplying them and then they get to decide what they do with the grass. Some people like to do art projects. Some people like to do imaginative play. Some people like to build things and use kind of those STEM skills and building towns or building little fantasy um, areas. And that's going to be up to them and what they like to do. Your job is just to supply the items. So I'm going to squish all that in there. I think that's enough. It might actually be a little too much. This came in different colors too. So we don't want the green you can get other colors that's good enough for now right so we got a little bit of that that they can take out and play around with it actually kind of feels nice kind of a fun little fun little thing next up is our dough and because this is easter spring theme i feel like i can do all sorts of different colors in the dough now the dough is a great way because it's a great material material to play with. And usually a lot of people call these like dough kits. So Dollar Tree does have some generic dough, which is what I'm including in here in different colors. The set I bought, I'll try to put that clip up here so you can see what it looks like, has several different travel size containers in it, which is really, really nice because you can get so many colors for the price of one. But you can use Play-Doh, you can make your own dough, you can use one color, two colors, all colors. I wrapped them in plastic here just to keep them fresh because the containers don't fit in here. You can keep them in the containers if you wish. So I'm choosing the three colors. Should I put in a fourth? Mm, nah, I'll keep those colors. I'll keep those colors for now. Next up, I found these fun baking cups in this really purple, really pretty purple, <laughs> pretty purple is hard to say, a uh, shimmer color. Now the baking cups can be used to put things in, dumping, pouring. They can be flattened out and be made as land. I'm not quite sure how a child would want to use it, but I just thought these would be fun. Dollar Tree had several different um, colors of baking cups. And now the challenge here is how I'm gonna put it in here, if it's like that. Okay, so I'm gonna put in a couple. And on the quantities and stuff, this is really up to you. <laughs> I am just putting a few in here just because. Sometimes I've seen them put in this way too, and people will put things um, inside of them, inside the container. That's another option. Let's set this inside here. So we have a few baking cups. These also came in different sizes, and there were some Easter theme ones and different colors too. I think that works for that. Really fun find on the erasers. There's eight bunny erasers in here, and I picked these up immediately because I thought of you guys when I, when I was shopping that these would be great to put inside a tinker tray to have as a manipulative. These would also be great in counting activities too. Oh, they're so cute. They're tiny and small and they'd fit great in here. I might include 
all of them, actually. Why not? And they'd be fun to play with. Have a little bunny family. You can hop around in their Easter grass. Oh, that'd be so fun. So I'm going to add in those bunnies. Another option would be the wooden bunnies, which I originally got first, which is a great option too. And I also had some of the carrots. I think I'm going to use, well, actually I have two types of carrots here. I got a lot of stuff. Let's, uh, what do I do? Do I do the wooden carrots? Let's, uh, mm, I can't decide. Let's do the felt carrots. These are actually stickers. So there's a sticker backing on them, but you could use them for counting and all kinds of fun spring themed activities. And I think these might be fun to add in here. There was also some bunny stickers. I'm not gonna include those. Get a couple packages of these. You can use them on 10 frames too. Since not all of them fit in one, I'm going to spread some out there and maybe spread some out over here. If you watch some of my past Tinkerbox videos, they have all kinds of different ideas in them that could be used in this box too. So I try to show you some new finds so that you have inspiration and ideas versus showing you the same things over and over again. But there's a ton of other materials from the past videos that would work in this box just the same. The pebbles, the straws, some of the things from the past boxes. So reuse things and, and see what you have to put inside to reuse. Did have some of the confetti. I thought this might be a fun addition to it. So the confetti has some Easter eggs. These are bunnies and then these are flowers. I'm thinking I might put a mix of a little bit of flowers and eggs since I already have bunnies. These can be mixed into the dough. They can play with it with the dough and have kind of a confetti filled dough package. They can be used on their own, kind of like a table scatter. So let's put a little bit in this compartment. Oh heck, I'll just put them all. <laughs> Why not? And then we have the Easter eggs. And since the real Easter eggs or the plastic Easter eggs are too big, they won't fit in here. This will kind of work for that. So Easter eggs and we have the pretty flower confetti. I also found those paper straws in the different colors. In my last dough tray, tinker tray, I ended up cutting these straws to fit long ways in this container. But this time I think I'm going to do all four colors and cut them up one of each to fit that container. So even smaller. So I'm gonna cut them all in half and then in half again. And because they're paper, they cut really easily and that can go in the, that compartment. So we have a lot of pastels going on in this box. <laughs> a lot of pastel colors. So I didn't end up using my wooden carrots, which I thought I was, or my wooden bunnies, which are also a great addition. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and use these in maybe an Instagram post to give you some ideas. So follow me over on Instagram to get some more ideas, but these would work just as well. Instead of the felt stickers, I could maybe just use less felt stickers and put some pieces in there. You know, you can play around with it and see what works. But generally speaking, here is what I have for my dough tinker box. If you want some more ideas for doing some dough kits, tinker trays, I'm gonna put another video up here on the screen of a one that I did before that you should probably go check out too. I'll see you over there next. Click subscribe to see more videos like this and give me a thumbs up to show your love.